Hi everyone, good to be back again with another layout and I hope you learned some, you know, tricks or something that you want to try. As always, I'm starting blending papers because it's something that I love and I'm using here two papers and all the supplies will be listed in the description of the video and I also have this picture that I created on iColorama. Uh, I'm going to have a tutorial of iColorama coming soon. Um, so what I'm doing here, because this is big like sketch a photo, I'm going to be putting multiplied. But what you see there, I created a mask and I hide it uh, in black, right? You will reverse the mask and I'm just using my water blends and I'm going to blend. So the blending work here is a lot of back and forth. The, the reason why mask is so great because I like to put and remove, put and remove. I'm here create another layer. Am I using a mask again? Because although I'm painting with the brush, I want to remove. So it creates a soft kind of natural thing as you were really painting um, instead of just blobbing the the paintbrush there so i'm using you know more of the brush and this one is the dynamic and pattern brush that i'm using here and i'm gonna go back to the water blend which is my favorite to uh, blend and the, the, it has some um, script um, stamp there brush and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring, you know, the kit has this kind of painted um, elements. So I'm recoloring there. And the way I'm recoloring this one is I'm creating a color uh, layer style there. Um, and the reason why I like it is because if I want to change for some reason this color later, I just, you know, click there and I can change the color just want to pop of a different color there um, between the blue and the red um, just something to uh, be more noticeable again if you can do a layout uh, with pieces that are indestructible that you can go back later that is the best way to approach it and you know it's it's a sign that you are good what you're doing because you are always thinking about what if I want to change something, right? So grabbing this other paint element there, I'm going to change the blend mode. Um, and it created this gorgeous light there. But I'm going to do something here, which I create a new layer. I changed, I grabbed the gradient tool and I'm getting the radio one, which is the round one. And as you could see, I popped up the gradient there at the top and I used the blend mode. So it creates the light on top of my head. Of course, I use the yellow, which helps, but you can try with warm oranges and things like that. Here's one of my favorite things about Photoshop CC is that you can separate the layers of the shadow um, style and you can warp it. The way you do, you give a command T, then you right click and warp and you can modify your shadows to be a little bit more realistic. So we want to, you know, this, at least I want, I don't want this butterfly or the papers that I'm going to use here to look like they're floating because that is not realistic, right? We want to pretend that we glue this. And at least I want to be as realistic as possible. So you can see there I'm adjusting and then I'm, I'm duplicating them. So it's, uh, the color is stronger. So I kind of do this with the rest of it. And, and that's how I finalize and give that realistic touch with the shadows there. And you can see, I do the same thing. I warp and then I modify it. You can see there that I keep using this um, technique of warping the shadows um, it's again one of the greatest thing about um, photoshop and i'm arranging here the layout as you can see and something that i like is to give a contrast between the focal point and the focal point to me is my picture there 
So um, you see that after I finish with, you know, the shadows here, and I'm trying to do a close up so you can see what I'm doing there. And if you'd like a more detailed tutorial about that, let me know as well about the shadows. I will be more than happy to teach you. So I'm going again to the gradient tool. And as you can see, I'm on the radio again, which is the round one. And I'm grabbing a gray from the gray, and this is, comes with Photoshop, from the gray uh, palette there. And I just, from the center, I pushed out. And I'm now using a blend mode. So what this uh, do is it creates this dark, um, you know, makes the center lighter and the dark on darker on the um, sides. So and that's how I finish the layout. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, let me know what other tutorials you would like to see. See you next time.